Hi, I'm Carolina Posada, a technical sales engineer at Weatherford, and I would like to tell you about flood equipment, the reasons we use it, and the types that you can choose for your operations. Flood equipment is attached to the downhole end of the casing string. The main function includes driving the casing to total depth, preventing water fluids or cement from re-entering the casing, and providing a landing point for cement plugs. Most floor equipment with stem extreme conditions, including temperature, back pressure, plug pump pressure, tensile force, and abrasion. Floor equipment can be classified into three categories, open, closed, and out of field. Each type has its own unique advantages. Open floor equipment allows fluid to freely enter the casing. An example of this type is a guide shoe. You can use it to guide the casing to cementing depth and reinforce the bottom of the casing. In this group, you can find float shoes, rumor shoes, and collars. They have check valves that prevent fluid from entering the casing. Conventional float shoes guide casing past ledges and obstructions to the target depth and also serve as a primary valve after cement displacement. One example is the eccentric nose downjet float shoe. The downjets deliver a jetting action to wash out bridges and evenly distribute the cement slurry for minimal channeling. A second example is the Diamondback Rimmer shoe. It is used most often to condition wellbores and overcome restrictions. It has a full coverage carbide blade cutting structure. The diamond shaped pads help you to rotate, reciprocate, and safely guide casing and liners. Large flow direct pores on the nose cover the entire wellbore to prevent channeling. Conventional flow colors serve two important purposes during primary cementing. First, they act as a backup valve to the flow shoe and act as a first valve when running a guide shoe. Secondly, they provide a landing point for the casing wiper plug. One example is the non-rotating flow color, which prevents plug rotation during drill out. It has a phonelic non-rotating plate on which a multi-tooth non-rotating wiper plug will land. Most conventional floor equipment has one or two check valves. One type is the Sherl Seal 3 that has a puppet design with a spring below the ceiling point. It can operate below 400 degrees, hold high back pressure, and it is PDC drillable. The large flow area and long flow life are important benefits. Out of field or differential field flood equipment has a flapper valve that runs open to allow fluid through a reduced ID to enter the casing. The valve closes or converts after circulation to prevent U tubing. Compared to conventional flood equipment, out of field equipment reduces rig time and lowers source pressures, which especially benefits wells with uh, weak formations or tight annular clearances. A simple example is the impeller device which converts conventional flood equipment into auto fill flow. It is installed on the Sure Seal 3 valve to allow casing to automatically fill while running in the hole. Circulating at 7 barrels per minute deactivates auto fill. A flow rate of 3 barrels per minute is recommended to avoid deactivation. Another example of auto fill equipment is our circulating large board auto fill flow collar. It has a surge reducing and debris tolerance PDC drillable valve that allows lo low circulation without conversion even when the tripping ball has been set. It has a large open bore that minimizes surge and reduces stress on the formation while running in hole. I hope you find this information useful. If you would like to learn more about our products for primary cementing of casing and tubing strings, please visit our website or call your local Weatherford representative.